let's take a look at how to convert between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Convert the temperature from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius using the formula below. All right, well keep in mind Fahrenheit is a measurement for temperature that we use really commonly in the US. Celsius is another measurement for temperature that's used in a lot of other countries. So a lot of times when you're traveling from one place to another, you might need to convert the temperature. Because if it's in the US, they're probably describing the temperature in Fahrenheit. And in a lot of other countries, if you're traveling to those, they, they're probably describing the temperature in Celsius. All right, they gave us the formula. C, or the degrees Celsius, is equal to 5 over 9 times the quantity of the degrees Fahrenheit minus 32. Now notice the grouping symbols mean first we take our Fahrenheit temperature and subtract 32, and then we multiply that answer by 5 over 9. Okay, well they told us it's 122 degrees Fahrenheit. So if I put that into my formula, to figure out my degrees Celsius, I'm going to say 5 over 9 times the quantity 122 minus 32. And again, those grouping symbols are just telling us that we're going to subtract first before we multiply. Okay, so we're going to start by saying 122 minus 32, and that gives me 90. Okay, so my degrees Celsius is going to be equal to 5 over 9 times 90. Now remember, when you're multiplying a fraction by a whole number, sometimes it's helpful to write that whole number as a fraction. So I'm going to think of this as 5 over 9 times, now again, the time symbol and the dot mean the same thing. I just like to draw it this way, it's a little quicker. And then 90 as a fraction would be 90 over 1. Okay, I could multiply either the numbers that I have already, or if I notice that 9 and 90 both share a factor of 9, I can simplify that and say 9 goes into 9 1 time, and 9 goes into 90 10 times to make my math a little bit easier. And then from here, I'm going to multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. So in the top or the numerator of my fraction, I had 5 times 10, which is going to give me 50. And in the bottom or the denominator of my fraction, I have 1 times 1, which is just 1. Well, remember, 50 over 1 means 50 divided by 1. That would just be 50. So my temperature in Celsius would be 50 degrees Celsius. Okay, convert the temperature from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. So I'm going to use the same formula, and this time I want to figure out if it's 113 degrees Fahrenheit, how many degrees is that in Celsius? Okay, well let's set up our formula. The degrees Celsius is equal to 5 over 9 times, and again you can use the x multiplication sign or the dot one, whatever you like better, and then it's going to be Fahrenheit minus 32. Well, it was 113 degrees Fahrenheit, so I'm going to say 113 minus 32. And notice the grouping symbols are telling us that we're going to subtract before we multiply. So I'm going to start by saying 113 minus 32. That gives me 81. So the degrees Celsius is going to equal 5 over 9 times 81. Now, I can write it as like this. But again, when I have a whole number, it's helpful to write that as a fraction because then I know I can multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom of my fraction. Now, if you have a calculator, it's no big deal to multiply the numbers the way they are. If you're working without a calculator, it might be helpful for you to reduce first just to give yourself smaller numbers to work with. So for example, if I take a look at this, I would notice that 9 goes into 9 and 81. Right, 9 goes into 9 1 time, and 9 goes into 81 9 times. So if I simplify first, I just have smaller numbers to work with when I multiply. And then I'm going to multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. Okay, so in the top or numerator, 
I have 5 times 9, which is 45, and in the bottom or denominator, 1 times 1, which gives me 1. And of course, I want to reduce this. 45 over 1, or 45 divided by 1, gives me 45. So my degrees Celsius would be 45 degrees Celsius. Okay, we want to use the same formula to convert 59 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. Okay, so let's start by plugging everything into my formula. My degrees Celsius is equal to 5 over 9 times, okay, in place of F, I'm going to put my temperature in Fahrenheit, which was 59, and then we're going to subtract 32. Okay, and always thinking about order of operations, the parentheses or the grouping symbol is telling us to subtract first before we multiply. So leave that 5 over 9 for a second. We'll go back to that. And first we have to say, what is 59 minus 32? Okay, that's 27. Okay, and instead of thinking of this as 5 over 9 times 27, remember any whole number you can make a fraction by putting it over 1. Okay, just like we saw in some of the other problems, I can either multiply the numbers the way they are, especially if you have a calculator and you're not that worried about big numbers, or if you're working um, by hand, you might want to reduce first, so you're multiplying smaller numbers. I would notice that 9 goes into both 9 and 27, right? 9 goes into 9 one time, and 9 goes into 27 three times. So now that's going to make my math a lot easier because when I multiply straight across the top, I can simply think 5 times 3, which is 15. And when I multiply across the bottom, 1 times 1 is 1. So I wind up with 15 over 1, or 15 degrees Celsius. Okay, we have the same formula. And this time we want to figure out if the temperature is 140 degrees Fahrenheit, what is that in degrees Celsius? Okay, well you're always plugging it into the formula. So I'm going to say C is equal to 5 over 9 times, and the degrees Fahrenheit always goes in place of F. So 140 minus 32. And just like in the past few examples, the grouping symbols are telling us to subtract first. So I'm going to start by saying 140 minus 32, which gives me 108. So I'm going to say 5 over 9 times 108. And of course, I can make that a fraction by putting it over 1. Now again, you might notice that 9 goes into both 9 and 108. So if you don't care and you have a calculator, you can just multiply straight across, or you can reduce and say 9 goes into 9 one time, and 9 goes into 108 12 times. And then when we multiply straight across, okay, well 12 times 5 gives us 60, and 1 times 1 is 1, so we wind up with 60 over 1, or 60 degrees Celsius. We have another example here. We're going to set this up. Our degrees Celsius is equal to 5 over 9 times our degrees Fahrenheit here was 212. So we're going to put that in place of F in the formula. Minus 32. Okay, and the grouping symbols or the parentheses are telling us to subtract first. So 212 minus 32 is 180. So I'm going to multiply this by 180. Now, I can write that as 180 over 1 if I want to make it a fraction. I could either multiply straight across the top and bottom the way the numbers are, or I could reduce first. I like to reduce and make my math really easy here. I know 9 goes into 9 one time. 9 goes into 18 twice, so it must go into 180 20 times, right, if we just put the 0 there. 
And then when I multiply straight across, okay, well, 5 times 20 gives me 100. And on the bottom, 1 times 1 gives me 1. So I wind up with 100 over 1, or 100 degrees Celsius.